The Faculty of Peace, a non-governmental organization which has made the program a yearly event, decided to assemble erudite scholars like Senator She Usani, human rights activist Austin Osakwe, and popular musician Idris Abdul Karim to interact with the people, especially the youths, on the World Peace Day. The guest speakers, who spoke on the topic Nigeria's Unity Dialogue as a way forward, were of the view that different criteria in doing things without discrimination, injustice, fair play, and given a sense of belonging to the city citizens by the political leadership will make dialogue inevitable. Senator Sani said it is unfortunate that the call for cessation is growing louder in the country due to alleged bad governance. We cannot have a nation if we have a government that does not respect fundamental rights. We cannot have a nation if we have a government that only recognizes one part of the country and impoverishes the other part of the country. We cannot have a nation if we have a government that is made of few and for the few. We cannot have a nation if we have a government that has failed to address the challenges, security challenges. Comrade Austin Osakwe said dialogue no doubt is the best panacea for promoting peace. Comrade Osakwe however said sincerity matters a lot and can go a long way to put issues right and place them on proper perspective instead of promoting injustice and inequality. If we must continue to exist as a nation, we must talk to one another. But we are insisting that we will not fear to negotiate, but we will never negotiate out of fear. What that means is that all the issues, we must, be, we must put all of them on the table. So that when we are discussing, we are discussing on equal footing. And fundamentally is that the center of this discussion must be an assurance of justice. It is only justice that can bring about peace so that we can have prosperity in Nigeria. President, Faculty of Peace Worldwide, Kelly Omokaro Osumbo said the essence of the yearly event is to provide solutions to challenges militating against peace that has ravaged the country over the years. On his part, Idris Abdul Karim told participants, especially youths, to be fearless in a bid to actualize their dreams and aspirations. Dialogue is not just about sitting around the table and making peace, but changing the way people talk, think, act, and communicate with one another. The increased volume in agitation all over the country is almost drawing out the voices of others that are calling for a united Nigeria. We should learn to listen more to ourselves. The power is in your hand. Don't let anybody scare you out. Be strong. The event featured interactive sessions where participants voiced their various opinions. Representative of the EFCC, the Chief Imam of Benin Central Mosque, Abdul Fatai Dabolele, and other personalities sent goodwill messages to the event. Idris Abdul Kari entertained the audience with songs to promote peace in the country. Fosa Uwangwe reporting.